The Democrats lost that special election in Florida last week. The president's approval rating, if you look at the NBC Wall Street Journal poll, at 41 percent. So lo and behold, amid all this talk, maybe more House Democratic re retirements, I'm told. Uh, Democrats in a bit of a panic about holding the Senate. Listen here. Robert Gibbs, former Obama spokesman, Karl Rove, former Bush architect, almost in agreement. There's real, real danger that the Democrats could suffer big losses because the real estate and the turf in which these elections are taking place uh, begin uh, with an advantage to the Republicans. With 14 seats in play on the Democratic side and a couple of seats in play potentially on the Republican side, I think it's highly likely that the Republicans pick up a majority. Uh, so no one's talking about the House anymore. We talked a little right. bit about this yesterday. Everyone's starting to think this map is expanding for Republicans when it comes to the Senate. One Democratic lawmaker quoted in the New York Times this morning saying the president is poisonous to the party's candidates. Is this a snowball rolling down the hill now? Yeah, yeah it feels like it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I remember back in 2010, Robert Gibbs said a similar thing about the House was wrapped on uh, the knuckles by uh, by Nancy Pelosi. He said at the he time still has the tracks on his back <laughs> from right, that one. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I mean, I think they are pressing the panic button over and over again because it just looks like uh, the GOP has been more disciplined this cycle. They've expanded the map, and uh, and uh, Democrats just haven't been able to do it in seats that look likely it, that they'd be able to It feels kind of like 2006 in some ways right. when the Republicans were running away from George Bush at yeah. all costs. Right. And now, to some extent, the president is feeling the same thing from his party. I mean, he's still going to be beneficial on the money front. He's actually raised a lot of money for Democrats this cycle when he did not do do that in 2012. Uh, so they're going to need him for that. They may need him in some areas to drive out the base. But in those swing states, in those red states, you're not going to see the president and, stumping and I think this d does go back to this idea of the president as a party of one. Right, right. in 2010, you had right. similar criticisms uh, from right. Democrats. Uh, and I think there also is an issue. There are Obamacrats, and then there are Democrats. Right. And the Obamacrats show up uh, to vote for Obama, and they usually stay home uh, when it comes to And we're having this political conversation. It is great political theater, tough for the White House, uh, as it was for Bush back in 06. You make a good comparison there. But there are policy consequences.